no smooth curve would be there because no any the solid is not curvature by nature curvy by nature and cutting plane is also straight line so all these points should be joined with a straight line if it's a cylinder or cone then we have to join all these points with a smooth curve so this shows the cut portion of this this bottom cut portion now think about this upper portion this upper portion somewhere here this one so to think about this upper portion let me pick up one point this is on e and c two generators are there generator c and generator e or age c and age e so these two points draw horizontal line from here that will cut oc c generator at one point so this is one point and e e is here so this is another point two points are identified now think about this point this point this point is on d d projector or d age so locate this point to d age so for that draw horizontal line from that point like this and transfer it to d like this and it will cut d generator at one point so that is this is the point now join all these three points with a straight line so it would appear like this and this shows the cut portion of upper cut plane so it will appear like this so we have drawn this cut portion also now join the outer surface this surface this would be full line then this also will be full line and this middle portion is removed so it would be light so make it much lighter and this portion is also full line and here this portion will also be a full line so this from a b c this point say p m or p n e f a then p1 p6 p5 p4 p3 p2 p1 and this so this portion represents the development of this given section and finally you write the answer this is question number 1a write it with the big font answer of question number 1a right 1a its development of given hexagonal prism so this is the answer you may insert the dimension like width width of this rectangle would be equal to 42 into 6 and height is equal to 98 mm so this question is asked for 5 marks 5 marks uh, if you draw it like this you will get full 5 marks of this problem now we continue with another problem question number 1b asked for 5 marks it is given like this <coughs> figure 2 shows plan and elevation of a hexagonal prism and a cylinder intersecting with each other as shown draw their curves of interpenetration here hexagonal prism is given like this so this is top view this is front view this is side view hence which projection method is used over here here third angle projection method is employed because top view is drawn above front view so first angle projection method is given hence we have to use the first angle third angle sorry third angle projection method to draw this solution so this is given case so how would we would we start to draw this given diagram it's very important these diagrams are given to us and we have to draw the curves of intersection so for that let we start from here draw this hexagon like this hexagon is given to us side length is given to us that is 40 mm so take 40 mm as the radius put over here draw a circle of diameter 40 mm and draw the sides by taking arcs from any points after drawing this hexagon draw its top view draw its front view by drawing this rectangle its side view by taking drawing a line at an angle of 45 degree let we draw this given case here the case is given like this <coughs> 
so for that first we draw a circle of given diameter and from that draw diameter of the circle is known to us and from that draw vertical lines to show the front view of given cylinder this is a cylinder which is given to us of diameter which is equal to 60 mm and the side view of this cylinder to draw the side view let we draw here line at an angle of 45 degree like this and from here draw projections from the end points like this draw projection from here draw projection from this end and transfer these two projections over here like this and we can draw its front view its side view its side view would also appear as a rectangle and its front view would also appear as a rectangle this is given data draw here center line or axis of given solid as well and here also draw axis of this cylinder like this to draw axis draw one long dash one short dash or chain line long dash short dash long dash short dash and length of all long dash dashes and length of all short dashes should be equal that is the method now to draw this hexagon find out the midpoint of this this is the midpoint that is bisect this axis and from that draw a circle of diameter 40 mm and cut the arcs and draw hexagon like this we know how to draw hexagon in a given circle after drawing this hexagon it would appear like this this is an hexagon of the given case like this <coughs> and this is a hexagonal prism so its side view would appear like this like a rectangle and these edges would be fully visible like this this edge is also fully visible because it is not anywhere inside the given cylinder and this would be its front view and in top view also it would appear as a rectangle which is given in the data like this so till now we have drawn the given data as per given dimension after inserting the necessary dimensions in this figure what should we do we have to find out the points of intersection between these two solids so for that let we divide this circle or this top view into equal number of parts say i have divided here into eight equal parts so each line would be at an angle of 45 degree with each other like this this is the division of circle into eight equal parts and draw their projections by drawing vertical lines from each points like this so this shows the image imaginary generators drawn over outside surface of the cylinder these imaginary generators similarly transfer these imaginary generators to its side view as well drawing horizontal lines from these two points both these points would be on the same single line like this that will cut this 45 degree line at two points and from those points draw vertical lines like this so this is the imaginary gener imaginary generators inside view after drawing this let me find out the points of intersection between this prism and cylinder so here let me pick up one point this is point number 1 say point number 1 this is point number 1 so pick up this point Trans transfer this point for that draw horizontal line from this point like this first draw just a horizontal line it will be this line now draw vertical line from point number 
like this vertical line from point number 1 transfer it to top view like this and in top view where it cuts this cylinder find out that point what we have done first we have drawn horizontal line from point a after drawing horizontal line from point a we have drawn vertical line from point a like this and has this point has transferred to top view like this and where it cuts this circle it cuts over here this circle over here so from this point draw a vertical line and the intersection of this vertical line and horizontal line drawn from point number 1 is point number 1 somewhere here so this is our first point name this point as point number 1 or p1 whatever name you can give after go position finding position of point number 1 let me think about point number 2 suppose this is point number 2 on generator 2 point number 2 how to find uh, locate this point number 2 in front view so for that same analogy to be employed from point number 2 draw vertical line like this transfer it to its top view in top view it cuts the cylinder at this point so from this point draw vertical line like this and this vertical line intersection of this vertical line and horizontal line from point 2 like this will give us one point vertical line from 2 and horizontal line from point 2 here is one point name that point as this is point number 2 or point number p2 similarly for point number 3 here is point number 3 so name this point as point number 3 from this point draw a horizontal line like this then transfer this point number 3 to top view by drawing vertical lines like this and horizontal line from here and this this point will cut this circle uh, will touch the circle at this point from this point draw a straight vertical line and that will cut the horizontal line from point 3 at here and this is point number 3 so we have identified three points point number 1 2 and 3 similarly on this side also we can pick up the points of intersection like this this is the point so from here draw vertical line horizontal line it will cut over here this is the point so for that draw vertical line from this point horizontal line from this point that will cut circle over here from here draw vertical line and the point of intersection would be somewhere here so if we transfer this point horizontally on this side you will find a mirror image of this point number 1 2 and 3 so here point number 4 would be there similarly point number 5 means this point and this point 1 2 3 here is say point number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 
over here so this is another point similarly we can find out position of this point position of this point and position of this point by doing mirror of the upper procedure join all these points with a smooth curve as shown over here so this will give the curve of intersection between prism and cylinder for this bottom face now we think about the position of other lines how would they appear this outer side would appear as a full line like this here also this would appear as a full line because it is outside line and this also would be full line like this and this would be full line like this now what's about these edges these two edges would also be fully visible so draw these edges with full line like this and this edge with full line like this now think about this portion which is inside the cylinder it will not be visible to us hence this internal portion should be represented by dotted lines like this this dotted line represents the that the edge of this hexagonal prism is inside this cylinder it would appear like this and think about the cylinder the cylinder would appear like this cylinder is inside this so this would be full line this would be full line up to here it would be full line and whether the cylinder will appear or not think about this this upper edges of the cylinder will appear or not as the prism passes through the cylinder it will be trimmed out so trim this line this 1 2 3 4 5 all these lines should be erased or should be drawn much lighter because it is removed portion similarly in top view also we can darken this solids this is the prism because the prism is fully visible in top view like this so these edges would be drawn as a full lines like this and this upper edge would be visible only up to this cylinder after that it will not be visible hence join them with a dotted line so this portion to be drawn as a dotted line because it is inside the cylinder so it will not be visible now think about the side view of this cylinder in side view also this portion would be visible up to this extent only this internal portion is removed hence it should not be drawn and it should be